Good evening. Welcome to Liturgy Online Evening Prayer for Wednesday, May 13th, using the Book of Common Prayer. Who worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness, let the whole earth stand in awe of him. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.
Lord, from whom all good things do come, grant to us, thy humble servants, that by thy holy inspiration we may think those things that be good, and by thy merciful guiding may perform the same, through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Light in our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all evermore. Amen.
Good evening. Welcome to Evening Spiritual Practices and our spiritual journaling exercises that we have been doing. I hope you're finding these helpful. They're going to be a different all the time. So if there may be one exercise that you don't find helpful and others that you do. So hopefully you can stick with it. Um, if it's good for you, if it's doing, if it's helpful for you. Do you know, I was doing the exercise from Monday night of letting go. And it occurred to me, I, as I wrote down my list of things, uh, I felt very differently about some of those things. Some of them I was actually kind of glad to let go of. Some of them are things that I realized I had to let go of for now, and that they were things I was able to pick back up again later. Some of the things I just have to put down and leave behind and let go completely. But by far those were not the majority. Today I would like to invite you to do a different kind of reflection. Maybe it's a little bit of an opposite reflection. And that is, what are the things that are being taken up? What are the things that are coming close to you, that you are coming close to? Perhaps those are new relationships or old relationships that you are discovering in new ways. Maybe you're discovering a new way of being in the world. Maybe you're learning things about yourself that you didn't know before. Maybe you're acquiring a skill, or you have a new rhythm in your day. I know a lot of people have written to us and said, I hardly ever did morning or evening prayer before, and now I tune in all the time to those, and it's become a real great rhythm of my day. Other things that different people are taking up are new skills, new practices, new ways of spending their day. And this is an opportunity to receive those new things. It might be a, a new rhythm of walking, or different people you're walking with, or different directions. New opportunities to be with people in different ways. I know a lot of people are taking up learning how to do different things on the computer that they didn't know how before. I want to celebrate one thing. Um, my daughter has taken up making cloth masks. She has been, uh, she has taught herself to sew using a sewing machine that I have, and I do sew a bit, but um, she has been, uh, she has been practicing that and researching patterns and looking at various things and so she has started to make cloth masks and this is one that she made from uh, we have lots of scrap fabric in our house from my mother and so Emily has taken up this and is sharing those masks with, masks with all kinds of people so it's kind of neat to watch her acquire a skill and feel like she's giving back and contributing to her community so there's lots of new things coming your way and some of them might be surprising. Some of them might be something you have time for that you didn't have time for before. Some of them are things that you initially might have thought you didn't really welcome. But what are the things coming to you that you can receive, you can embrace, and you can be grateful for? I invite you to share those things, write those things down in your journal this evening. <laughs> 